Hello everyone, I'm Sean, uh, this is uh, Salt, my uh, YouTube channel uh, all about uh, sports uh, and uh, interesting topics and uh, today the topic is going to be archaeology. We are visiting uh, the thermal baths of uh, the archaeological park of Baia near Naples and uh, this is uh, one of the most ancient uh, archaeological uh, thermal complexes in the world because uh, mortar and uh, cement were invented here in the Phlegrean fields uh, between Pozzuoli and Baia. So what we will uh, see shortly is the first application of mortar um, which is uh, earlier even uh, than the Pantheon built by the Emperor Adrian. The Greeks used to build their architecture with the post and lintel system, a vertical and horizontal element leaning upon each other because they had not invented cement. The Romans changed all this by inventing a cement right here in this area and so they were able to create circular domes which later developed into the cupolas of the Renaissance period. The first example of circular domes you will see here today, whereas a later more famous example is the Pantheon in Rome and obviously later still the Colosseum. The construction with the tufa rocks and bricks in a diamond shape that uh, takes uh, the shape of a net is called Opus Reticolatum. Baia and the Phlegrian fields uh, together with uh, um, Pozzuoli and uh, Posillipo hosted uh, the um, fleet of Rome and they were also considered uh, places uh, good for holidays. Every notable uh, rich Roman had uh, a villa here. So this was uh, basically a residential area with the uh, villas uh, developing uh, behind me towards uh, the mountain and uh, a complex of terraces overlooking the sea. So in the distance uh, you can see uh, Baia Castle, uh, the castle built uh, by the Spanish Aragonese and uh, just in front of us the cylinder-like shape uh, you can see is the ancient temple of Venus. So a place uh, obviously dedicated to beauty, as Venus is the goddess of beauty. Behind uh, the temple, in the distance, uh, you may be able to make out the shape of the island of Nisida, which is in fact an ancient volcano. On the left, behind uh, these trees, there is the ancient uh, Roman city that is now underwater due to the phenomenon of Bradicism, the rising and descending of a level of the ground. Opening uh, on the top is called oculo, uh, which means the eye, 
and uh, the purpose is uh, obviously to give light but also to collect uh, rainwater for the baths. The road separates uh, the temple from uh, the rest of the park. At one point in uh, Roman history, the Republic became an empire and uh, from the 1st to the 3rd century, the Emperor came uh, here and uh, he made uh, the villas uh, part of uh, his own uh, palace. As it so often happens uh, in archaeological parks in Italy, there are very few, if not no, visitors at all. So there is an atmosphere of incredible peace and relaxation. I can hear birds chirping, there are cats, there are butterflies flying here and there, so it's absolute bliss to visit. I'm about to see my favourite uh, fig tree, the upside down tree. Don't forget. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's an eel here as well. I hope you enjoyed the, the visit. Uh, I've been uh, hunting for ghosts, maybe the ghost of uh, Julius Caesar on a holiday tour uh, of Baia, but I didn't find any. Anyway, this is goodbye. See you next time. Shut sure.